Hello and welcome to another video of time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to give you a couple of examples of time series patterns. In fact, I'm going to talk about four examples and show you three patterns that I talked about in a previous video and I'm going to show you different combinations of uh, those uh, three patterns. Let's get started. Whenever we observe trend in a series, I'm going to write down T. For seasonal, I'm going to write down S. And for cyclical pattern, I'm going to write down C. So in this first example, we are looking at the monthly housing sales in the US. And uh, we see that uh, this data is showing a strong seasonality. We can observe that these patterns, these are repeating at regular intervals, right? So see this part, it's like repeating at regular intervals. So we can say that there is seasonality in this data set. Now we do not observe any upward or downward trend. So there is apparently no trend in the series. We also observe that there are some random fluctuations uh, like here. Sometimes the series is going uh, down without any predictable pattern and sometimes it's going up with any predictable pattern. Hence there is some cyclical behavior in this series. So see there is seasonality and uh, cyclical pattern in this series but no trend. So let's look at another example. So this example is the US uh, Treasury contracts and we have data for 100 days and we see that there is a downward trend in this series. There is no seasonality that is there are no predictable ups and downs of fixed frequency in this uh, data set hence there is no seasonality. We observe some fluctuations so we can say that there is some cyclicality in this series as well. Probably this series is a part of a large series because we have data of just 100 days. So if we zoom out and look at the whole series, we may observe uh, more patterns. But given the data that we have for 100 days, we only observe trend and some cyclical behavior in this data set. Our third example is the Australian monthly electricity production. And uh, we see a strong increasing trend here. The electricity production is going up starting from 1960s also we observe these uh, seasonal patterns in the series but there is no cyclical behavior here that is there is no unpredictable patterns in the series and our fourth example is the daily change in the google stock price there is no trend seasonality or cyclical pattern in the series so this series is absolutely random or what we call white noise right so these are different patterns or different combinations of uh, these uh, three patterns that you will observe in the series now we can use this information to build our model and uh, we can assume that that the trend component or the seasonal component is going to keep uh, repeating itself in the future hence we can use that information and forecast now if our series is showing uh, randomness as this series is showing this series is completely random and we'll see that it's very hard to predict uh, this type of series because it's random the idea here is that uh, you identify these patterns in a time series and then build your model accordingly now this is just a visual representation of uh, these time series patterns Later on, I'm going to introduce you to more sophisticated methods where you don't have to rely on your visuals to identify these patterns. Rather, we'll use sophisticated methods and we'll use a statistical program to identify these patterns because sometimes it's very hard to see that uh, there is a trend or seasonality in the data set. But after we'll use a statistical program, we'll see that uh, there is in fact uh, a trend or seasonal pattern in the series and sometimes we see that there may be some trend in the series but a statistical program will tell us otherwise we'll look into those methods uh, later on but this is just an idea about uh, observing these uh, patterns in a series and building your model accordingly all right i'll see you in the next video bye bye